Hey everybody, this is Kelly with RC Mechanic and uh, today we're going to do an experiment. Um, this experiment is um, actually tire foams and um, one of those things that um, I don't know, I think that uh, a lot of hobby places charge way too much for. Um, now I don't know the science of uh, tire foams or if there is one you know that density of foam and all that happy stuff I mean um, but uh, I thought I would try actually making my own today so what I did was um, I have these uh, pit bull tires these are uh, rock beasts and uh, I bought these like a year ago and for the life of me, I could not get these to mount on whatever wheel I had at the time. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go grab one of the wheels I tried to mount them on so you can see. Okay, so the wheels I tried to mount them on were the steely wheels right here. Um, every time I tried to do that... Um, the bead of the tire would like lift up. I don't know if it was the curve right here or what the deal is, but I couldn't get them to mount. I tried some other wheels I had, I even tried some plastic wheels I had. I tried gluing them on and nothing would work because the compound on these things are so soft that uh, I just couldn't get anything to lock. All right, so with that, I think I got that solved. All right. Now, uh, I bought these wheels right here. These are Enduro wheels. Uh, actually, this one is the first one I did. And as you can see, it, you might be able to see right there where the bead is starting to lift up. Right there. Okay. This is the first one I did. And the first one I did is I, uh, I mounted from the backside, left this ring on, and uh, then I put this ring on now I think with these wheels anyway the way I have to do it is in reverse whereas uh, I bolt down all these uh, little little screws right here and then come in from the back side and put this ring on because on this wheel you can see the bead is seated really well so I think I solved that problem I think I hope. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to redo this one, but that's not what we're here for today. What we're here for today <clears throat> is I took a, well, we just got a new bed, and um, before we got rid of the old bed, we had uh, bought one of the memory foam uh, mattress pads to go on top, make it a little more comfortable because it was, you know, it was starting to get pretty uncomfortable. So <clears throat> we had it for a long time. And uh, this is what I came up with. I cut the memory foam out. I have a, we have a queen size bed. So I have quite a bit of material. All right, so I've already done it on all, all the other three, except for the one that I have to probably remount. And you know, I can almost not see it. Did this one? It's pretty darn close. I don't know. Maybe it'll settle in. Who knows? But anyway, I saved this one for last. Just to show you how I did the other three. Um, now, uh, I know this looks pretty darn ugly. But as far as I can tell right now, it works pretty good. So, what we do first is I, I'll just take these scissors and I'll cut around the outside. And what I did was I took a tire and I just laid it up here. And then traced it and then for the center I took one of the rings for the wheels and I just set that pretty close to the center and trace that okay all right so <clears throat> just go ahead and cut this and when I first cut this there's going to be several trim sessions here because this foam doesn't cut well like paper so 
and as you can see my rough cut isn't exactly a perfect circle so alright so we have that right now and now I'll just go around and try to square it up best I can now since I don't have a machine to cut these it is not going to be perfect but as far as I can tell so far it's gonna work okay I'm going to have some high spots because I didn't cut it completely square and I'm going to have some low spots. But you know, paying $50 for a set of foams and people who claim to have really good foams want even more than that. I mean, alright, so <clears throat> I got the outside pretty much cut the way I want it. So now I just do the inside. I'm going to go, this is what I did on the last two, is I just took my scissors and I went through. And I just cut it straight across. Kind of like that. So I cut it kind of like it like a pie. Okay. So we got our pie right there. And then uh go through and I will uh trim that out. And, um, you know, the one that took the most time was the first one. And after I found uh, different techniques to do this, it went a lot faster. Like right now, I'm going to go around this trimmed edge. Which I think might work a little better. So every time I do one of these, I find that something that might work a little bit better. <clears throat> And the only thing this really cost me is my time. There are no materials involved. These wheels <clears throat> I had already bought in, um, towards the end of last year. So you can consider that uh, like a no cost, I would say. Because that was part of the show, so... I'm going to try to get this as close as I can. When it gets comes to mounting time, if you're real picky about foam uh, hanging over the bead or whatever, I mean, you can take the time to trim that. I you know some people do. I don't. I just kind of stuff it in there. Alright, almost there. I did the other three because I didn't think you at all would want to watch me cut out four tire foams and watch me screw up all of them. So I waited till the last one. <clears throat> Because I had mounted the others and I tried them, and they seemed to have a whole lot more support than even the original foams that came with the Rock Beast. So, <coughs> all right, something like that. Oop. So, we got our tire, we go ahead and we put this in like we always do. You know, it's kind of like squish it, shove it, do what you have to do to get it inside that tire. Try not to get it twisted, obviously. If any of you guys have put these in before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you have not done these before, well, then, well, here's a little lesson. I may not do it right, but this is the way I do it. All right, so I got that in there. Pretty close. 
as you can see I got some overhang in there and if a person wanted to they could go ahead and um, trim that out I like kind of like to leave this in here I think it helps support the outer tire more so this is memory foam it'll only compress for you know so far so um, and it should bounce right back <coughs> go ahead and throw this inner ring in get the bead up above it all right so there's a little bit more As you can see it goes in there just like those um, expensive ones right Kind of hanging out over here, but what to address that when we we'll go ahead and mount it. So mount these like any other one. I put the top in first, the front with all the screws. That's how I did the last two. <clears throat> Just gonna make sure these rock beasts are beast to mount. So guys gonna make sure that you know the bead is sitting where it's supposed to be. Kind of like that. Alright? And then um Kind of grab onto it, flip her over. Here's your inside ring. Try to line up them holes best I can. And I do have a couple pieces of foam in the way. Okay. <clears throat> line that up best you can and uh, stick that down in there. So that the, on the back side it's a 2.5 mil, on the front it's a 1.5. Just get her started. Go to the other side. Careful not to cross thread these. <clears throat> Remember that these are uh, very small screws. So, all right, check that. Check that side looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead. Give these here. That I already started a couple more turns. And then four more. So I got one of my future victims sitting in front of me right here. Um, I got the uh, extended cab Toyota uh, Trail Finder 2. Um, and um, I felt that that would make a very good example of uh, or test of how these uh, foams would work because I have one five fives on here right now and the foams that came with them are extremely weak and um, I got I'll show you in a second, but the front tires are like flat from sitting on the shelf, which is, you know, that happens, but just a minute here, I'll uh, give you an idea. All right, so maybe I should have had these wheels before, huh? Um, that made mounting these tires really easy so okay so here we got that uh, my trail finder too and um, you can see these this front tire right here is like completely flat and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's just pop this body off which I need to get some painting done on um, We got some painting to do coming up anyway. Uh, we got the um, Cherokee needs to be painted. This here needs to be done. Uh, but anyway, the foams on these, uh, these here are I have no idea. There's something. 
I thought I got them from RC Four Wheel Drive. Maybe I didn't. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> let me find my T wrench or a T wrench because I had like 20 of them here yesterday. There's one. I'm just going to pop these off. We're going to throw these other ones on. Now this truck is pretty heavy in the front, so give us an idea, I guess. I mean, the real true test would be <clears throat> once it's been sitting on the shelf for a while. Which might happen. I mean, it might just leave it sit here all overnight or something, and um, we can see how they hold up. I was trying to think about what 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 one of my trucks, being the heavier ones, would uh, be a good example of uh, <coughs> of these foams and whether they work or not, right, guys. <clears throat> so here it is on this one. I put some pressure on it. Almost, it looks like they're trying to bounce back, which is what we want, right? On these, all right. So this hasn't been sitting on. These are this is a rear one. That's a rear one. That's a rear one. And the foams actually feel to be pretty close to the same. So. This is going to be a good experiment. <clears throat> I think what we should do is let this thing sit overnight and see how the tires collapse on it. And uh, I have some work to do on it anyway, so and I kind of do like that little pooch right up here in the front a little bit because, you know, that will give you some conformity. And I do consider also that these tires are um, before I even mounted them how soft they were so I mean they're not these here are a little bit more rigid so all right so uh, we'll see how this works I mean if I end up with flat spots in the morning if I go to pick it up like this and it's flat I'll know that didn't work very well. So then I can go to plan B. Plan B involves something else. But I'll you know I'll probably just tell you all about it later. So um, but let's go with plan A first and see what happens there. Um, do have some suspension work going on with this one so stick around for this video coming up and then we can get the answer to how these work. Alright all right, so this would be the uh, what we call this. We would call this the the building and fabricate and create part of this. Um, so uh, everybody, just don't forget, do that. Um, keep building, keep fixing, fabricate, fabricate and create. That's what this here is all about. Thank you for watching. You're awesome. I'll catch you next time.